It was a crisp, cold winter day on the island of Sodor. The snow lay thick on the ground. The engines were working extra hard. James was pulling a slow goods train. He had stopped at a signal. Percy pulled up alongside, carrying the mail. Hello, James. Hello, Percy. Then, the signal changed to green. Oh, I better get going. Goodbye, James. And Percy was off in a flash. But I was here first. Why do I have to wait? Because the mail train is more important than a slow goods train, James. Later, when James stopped for water, Thomas was already in front of him. I have to go first. I am a guaranteed connection. Every engine on the island have a more important job than me. Nonsense, James. Everybody knows you're a really useful engine. But James wanted to be an important engine too. Later that day, Sir Topham Hatt came to see James. You must take coal to all the stations on the island. If the fires in the waiting room go out, the passers will get cold and complain. It is a very important job. Yes, sir. You can count on me. And Sir Topham Hatt left. James was very excited. Finally, an important job. Pa! It's only a lot of coal after all. Rubbish! I'm going to keep the passengers warm. What could be more important than that? And James wished over to the water tower. But there was a long line at the water tower. Come on, hurry up! I have an important job to do. Wait your turn, bossy boiler. Huh, I'm too important to wait anyway. So he didn't. James rushed to the coaling plant. He met Edward waiting at a junction. Edward was looking bothered. He had too many jobs and he was feeling puffed out. Can you take my straight trucks to the quarry please, James? Sorry, Edward, but I can't. I have the most important job on the island, taking coal to all the stations, and I cannot be late. Goodbye! James arrived at the coaling plant. He buffered up to the trucks, and he was on his way. Right! Off we go! Full steam ahead! James was looking forward to deliver his coal. <laughs> ah! Now I'm useful and important! Then there was trouble. James puffed harder and harder, he went faster and faster, and then he began to feel hotter and hotter. What's going on? Why don't I feel well? And James had to stop. Oh great, your water tanks have run dry. Now we'll have to wait for help. Just then, Edward pulled up beside James. Please push me to the water tank, Edward. I'm sorry, but you never took my stray trucks to the quarry, and now I'm running late with my passenger train. And Edward steamed away. Edward stopped and told the signalman all about James. The signalman telephoned for help, and soon Salty was on his way. <laughs> Why didn't you fill up with water this morning, matey? James told him about the line at the water tower. I've heard you were too busy to help Edward, too. That's because I was in a hurry. My job is the most important job on the island. No job is more important than helping another engine. And deep down in his boiler, James knew Salty was right. Thanks to Salty, James's water tank was soon full, and 
he was well on his way. He knew he had to make up for lost time. Then, James saw Diesel up ahead. He had broken down and looking very unhappy. James wanted to tease him, but then he remembered what Salty had said. No job is more important than helping another engine. Hmm. And even Diesel is an engine. Come on, Diesel! I'll push you back to the sheds! Pushing Diesel and pulling the trucks was hard work. This is so embarrassing. At last, James got Diesel to the repair yard. But he still had to deliver his coal. The wind blew and it was getting cold by the minute. James steamed all over the island delivering coal to the station waiting rooms. Everyone was pleased to see James. Thanks to him, they were all kept toasty warm. The next morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to see James. He knew all about him running out of water and not helping with Edward's trucks. Oh sir, I'm so sorry sir. I put my job first. But you did learn your lesson and you helped Diesel. And you delivered your coal on time. You, James, are a really useful engine. James nearly burst with pride. Thank you, sir. Being really useful was better than feeling important. 